aboard Costa Toscana. This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker on location. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Thursday, June 16th. In light of the CDC's recent decision to drop COVID testing on inbound U.S. flights, cruise lines are now asking for the same treatment. The Cruise Lines International Association released a statement saying, as the CDC monitors the improving health landscape and works with airlines to support a smooth transition with the lifting of pre-arrival testing requirements, we believe a review of the pre-embarkation testing requirements for cruise travelers is also in order. Currently, guests embarking any cruise in the U.S. must still provide a negative COVID-19 test to sail. Now, it should be noted that CLIA has not yet asked for a change to the vaccination requirements. Next week marks one year since major cruise lines resumed sailing from the U.S. And another major construction milestone for Carnival Celebration as a coin ceremony was held at Meyer Turku Shipyard on Wednesday. The coin ceremony is a century-old custom in shipbuilding, symbolizing good fortune for the vessel and its crew. During the ceremony, a box of coins, which had been placed under the keel at the start of the construction, were welded to a permanent position near the mast of the ship at the top. Carnival Celebration is the line's second Excel class ship after Mardi Gras and is scheduled to debut this November. It'll sail year-round from Miami. And finally, Princess Cruises has canceled a number of 2023 sailings on both Royal and Regal Princess. Regal Princess was originally scheduled to sail in the Baltic from April to September of next year. That entire season has been canceled due to the conflict over in the Ukraine. Royal Princess Cruises in Asia next September and October have also been canceled due to recent deployment changes. Those who were booked could either get a future cruise credit or a full refund. Replacement itineraries have not yet been named. Cruise line stocks were finally up on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation up 3.4%, 9.84. Royal Caribbean up a half percent, 39.69. And Norwegian up 5.5%, 11.73. Breaking news and this week's podcast, a review of... I don't remember. It's a, a cruise ship, though, <laughs> at cruiseradio.net. Aboard Costa Toscana, about to be christened a little later on today here in Barcelona. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have a great Thursday. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.